I got a 1998 uh, bagger here making dual exhaust. Took this uh, crossover pipe, let's cut a section out like this. Then I uh, heated this up red hot with a torch and kind of squeezed it in with a channel ox. Get that down in there. And what I'll do is I'll start welding. Yeah. Start welding like right in here. Put a bead here. Put a bead over here. And then start working this up in here so I can weld all the way around this thing here. And then this thing here, I don't know if I'm going to put a slug in here and weld it. And then uh, after that's done, then I'll put this back in, tack weld it, just a couple tack welds, you know, because then it'll support this pipe, because there's no support bracket over there. I'll put this back in, weld a couple straps on it to support this left side exhaust. And then I'll put my heat shield back on, and then uh, you won't see all this... Uh, rig job here you know make it look cleaner it'll still have the the chrome piece on here you know covering all this so all right I'll keep you posted well got that welded in I just use my wire feed with flux core and just kind of going around and around sealing up that half moon so I started it didn't have no leak so I ain't gonna choke it or ain't gonna choke it or nothing but that's for that then now I gotta do this then and then we'll have uh, true duels let you know how it works. Be back in a minute. And here's what I got. I got like a bushing from something. And I'll slide this in here. I got it marked so it's doesn't impede the flow of the exhaust. I think it's like an inch. There, I got a line on there. So what I'll do is I'll phone the washer, I'll weld that all the way around, and then I'll fill that hole in, and then I'll drop this slug in there, and then I'll put my dummy pipe on there and tack it in place, that way it'll hold that, so I gotta put that, I gotta put this piece in. And kind of tack it here and here and down here to kind of support this pipe because there's no bracket for this pipe so if I ever gotta <clears throat> take this exhaust off I can still take this clamp off slide that pipe off and this whole unit will come off with this on so keep it posted see you in a bit okay so I got the slug in there Got her tacked around with the. I'm just using flux core to it. It's just that thing fits in there pretty tight. I didn't feel any leaks, so no leaks out of that. I gotta take this pipe here, slide this on here. I'll have to trim it a little bit to get it aligned. So get it aligned in there, and then I'll make the connection here to make a bracket, and I'll put a couple booger tacks down here just to support that pipe so see you in a minute I got the piece back on slid this back over this nugget that slid in here and then I took a piece of muffler pipe slid it down onto this pipe got it back aligned and then ram this back up in here and then I'll tack it here tack it here 
tack it here and tack it here and I'm sure be good. See how it sounds and keep it posted. Heat shields back on. Got some melted shoe or something on here. I gotta get that off. But see how she sounds. Potato, potato. Talk to you later.